Hello friends. The history of golf has literature for at least a hundred years and uniformly those books seem to agree that it's the same swing with every club in the bag. Now that has a fundamental flaw to it because of the interpretation of a normal golfer. They go, what club do I hit well? Oh, my nine iron, I'll use that swing with a wood. It doesn't work out that way because the wood has the position of the ball and of course using a tee quite different and therefore needs to be modified. So it would be better if somebody said, well, I hit my driver well, let's use that swing with a nine iron, but it never happens that way. So here is why the driver particularly is a problem. Normally with the shorter clubs like a nine iron, the ball is of course nearest your feet and farther back. And so just the act of putting the club behind the ball tends to do what I call bias, where the left shoulder's higher and forward, the elbow's looking out, and those are valuable things to overcome the drag of the club. Now, when you put the ball on a tee and move the ball over by your left foot, which a driver obliges, the very next thing you do is put the club by the ball. Now, you can't see your shoulders, but in fact, they have now turned to the left of the target, what is somewhat ambiguously called open. You do see the club head, which is also turned to the left. And so you immediately fix that by just shoving your hands slightly ahead. Now everything looks good. The line across the toes is going at the target. The club face is square. You're about to use the same swing that worked with your nine iron. And it ends up in a Scotsman's back garden on the right side of the golf course. And so here's what we should do. Yes, you move the ball to the left in the stance with a wood. You do indeed reach over and put the club by the ball but you put it there with the club face slightly closed, which is where it wants to look, and then square it by rotating with the legs, your tailbone subtly towards your left heel. That brings your shoulders back to square with the left shoulder higher and nearer the ball. Best to do this actually an inch or two away from the ball first to get used to it because it does change the distance from the ball and the height. And then walk that to the ball, waggle to prove you can stay in those shapes, and then see if the same swing that works with an iron iron now works with your longer clubs.